Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate a ninja run cycle in front view without using any plugin. So these are the key poses of this ninja run cycle. The first one is the contact pose, then the passing pose and then the next contact pose. Then the next passing pose and then again the contact pose, which completes the whole cycle of this run cycle. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the animation process. So now we are in After Effects and the first thing we are going to do is to click on the layers that belongs to the same object. So let's select all the layers of the head and click on it. So let's put the anchor point of the head over here. Now we are going to precomp the layers of the leg. Now let's precomp these knots as well. So I have made this rough animation using the key poses that I have shown you guys earlier. So we are going to follow these key poses strictly. So now let's close this panel and let's get inside this leg composition. And we are going to bring in this video file of the key poses. So let's decrease the opacity. So now let's resize this clip to make the leg size exactly same as the illustration of the leg. Okay, so a typical run cycle takes around half a second and a ninja run cycle is generally a bit faster than a normal run cycle. So this clip consists of around 12 frames and we are in 30 fps so nearly a bit faster than half a second. So we are going to exactly follow these key poses. Now let's duplicate this layer one more time and we are going to paste it over here. And let's bring the work area in over here. So first we are going to start with animating the foot. So we are exactly going to trace the position like this is the contact pose. Then here is the passing pose. Then the next contact pose. So first we are going to convert all these layers into a shape layer. Okay, so now we are going to animate the foot first. Let's parent this one with this foot layer. And let's move this anchor point and put it over here. So let's put position and scale keyframe. Also let's put a keyframe on the shape path property. Also let's put scale keyframe on this layer as well. And let's jump on to next 3 frame. Now we are going to match the size. Also. Let's decrease the scale property only in the Y axis for this shape layer and let's give it exactly 0. Also let's put a position keyframe on this layer as well. And let's fix the position and put it over here. Okay, so now let's jump on to next 3 frame. And here we are going to match this particular position. So let's select this layer and put it over here. Let's scale it down a bit. And we are going to adjust the shape path. Now let's jump on to next 3 frame and here we are going to match the scale of this one. And let's fix the shape path property to match this shape. And now for the last frame, we are simply going to copy and paste 
the initial keyframes and somewhere in between we have to fix it so let's scale it down a little bit at this position Let's give zero in this scale for this pose and we're going to fix the shape path a bit. Okay, let's solo this and let's preview the animation. Now let's animate the shape of the leg. So we are going to animate the shape path property. So let's put a keyframe here and let's jump on to next three frame. And we are going to adjust the shape path. So let's first scale it down. Now let's jump on to next three frame. And here we are going to move the shape path. And simply scale it down. Alright, so let's jump on to next 3 frame and here we are going to again put it above and simply trace this shape. And at this point we are going to simply copy and paste the initial keyframe. Now let's preview the animation. So somewhere in between the layers should be splitted and some layers should be above so at this particular position it should look something like this the shoe should be below the leg exposed position okay so now we are going to animate this particular ship with this one so let's solo these layers and for this one, we can simply scale it down and for this one, we need to animate the shape path. So let's jump onto this frame and here we are going to adjust the shape path such that it looks like it is going from 3D to a 2D. So at the contact pose, because of the perspective, the foot position is looking bigger than the knee position. So in this particular passing pose, it should look like it is in a 2D plane. And then for this one, we can also add keyframe for the position. So let's place it over here and we are going to scale it down. And for this scale, we can simply give the y-axis of the scale completely zero. And at this position, we have to adjust the shape path of this layer. And at this point, we are going to make it bigger because it should be in perspective then at this position we are again going to adjust the shape path also it should look like it's in perspective and here we can copy and paste the initial keyframe but here we are going to first place the same keyframes and here we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe so let's preview it so i think in between we need to add one more keyframe also let's adjust the shape path and here let's just reposition it and let's rescale it and here we are going to give the y-axis 0. So now we are going to animate the thigh layer. 
So the same technique we are going to animate the shape path property here as well. So here we are going to adjust the shape path. So here again we are going to trace the shape path and also make this side a bit smaller so that it looks it's in perspective. So here we are going to copy and paste this keyframe and then we are going to adjust the shape path. And at last we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe. Okay so with this the leg animation is done. Now we have to sequence the layers. So he, after this the foot should be below the this particular portion. So let's select the shoe layer and this one and let's split it not here we are going to split it over here and we are going to put it below the thigh layer and same we are going to do for this layer as well and after this layer we are going to again split this layers and put it above okay now let's preview the animation okay so let's Put the foot layer above and let's check it. I think we can fix the shape path over here for the shoe as well. So let's fix it. And then we're going to copy this keyframe and paste it over here in this path as well. So that things are consistent throughout the animation. Okay, let's fix this one as well. It looks a bit weird. And then we are going to copy and paste these keyframes over here as well. Okay, so now we are going to change the color when it's rotating backwards. So let's put a keyframe on for fill. And here we are going to darken up the shade of the color. We are going to do the same for this one as well. So here let's paste the color code and we are going to even darken it up. So till this point it should have some darker shade and here it will have the initial keyframes or rather till here as well so i'm going to move the keyframe and put it over here so select the keyframes and is it and also here we are going to split this layer and put it below this thigh layer and at this point we can split it again and put it above the thigh layer All right, so now if we preview it from here, you can see that the thigh is actually crossing over the body. So what we have to do is we have to make two copies of the leg, one below the body layer and one above the body layer. So first let's just enable the time remapping and we're going to animate the whole thing in a loop. So put a keyframe over here and we're going to delete the keyframe at the end of the timeline and we're going to put a loop expression all right so we're going to make another copy of this leg composition so let's select this leg layer and we're going to duplicate it here in the project panel so for the leg 2 we're going to keep all these layers with this one and we're going to turn off the visibility of these layers and for leg one 
we are going to turn off the visibility of these layers now we are going to place the leg to below the body layer so now we are going to copy the anchor point position from this layer and first we are going to turn on the rasterize and paste the anchor point position over here then the position property let's copy the position property and paste the position property over here so it has exactly the same position and after that we are going to copy and paste these time remapping keyframes okay now we are going to duplicate this layer one more time for the other leg then we are going to go to transform flip horizontally and place it over here same we are going to do with this one flip it horizontally and we are going to copy the position property and paste the position property over here so after that we can simply offset it by 6 frame all right so with this the leg animation is done so this was the most critical part of the front view walk cycle and the later on parts are very easy for the body movement you can simply make an up down movement in the position and your run cycle will be done so first let's select the body and we're going to parent head with body and the other layers such as this one this one this one and this one with the body layer and we are going to move the anchor point of the body over here and put position keyframe at this point and then we are going to jump on to next 3 frame and here is the passing pose so we are going to move the body up a bit and again jump on to next 3 frame and we are going to copy and paste the keyframe and easy is the keyframe and here we are going to paste the loop expression Alright, now we are going to add some squash and stretch. So we are going to open the scale property, put a keyframe and at this point we are going to stretch a bit and at this point we are going to squash a bit. Okay, let's copy and paste the initial keyframe here and we are going to easy as the keyframe and let's copy and paste the loop expression and then we are going to offset the keyframes and with this you already have the ninja run cycle so right now we are going to add some more detailing to it so we are going to add some rotation in this elements as well let's open the rotation property put a keyframe let's jump on to next three frame put a keyframe So we are going to offset it and put it over here and we are going to offset the 1 by 2 as well. Okay so like this you can animate a ninja run cycle in front view without using any plugin. Also if you want to learn how to add green texture in your animation like this in After Effects then you can check out this particular tutorial i will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial so that is it for this video i hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your project so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye